Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Model Info Panel. So the Model Info Panel isn't actually, it doesn't have commands, or it doesn't let you really change what's in your model. It kind of has values that are model-wide, like the, the entire model is going to save these values. Um, I could explain it, but we could go look at it. That'd probably be easier. So let's take a look at model info right now. All right, um, it really doesn't matter what's on the screen in this model uh, because it doesn't matter if something's selected or it really none of that matters because model info is kind of like a higher level of information. I'm gonna go ahead and hit model info and whoa, see how big that went? There's so much stuff there. Model info is actually made up of four sections. So length units, area units, volume units, and angle units. So kind of give you an idea what's going to be here in model info. It's information about how, what units I want to display things in, basically. Not basically, that's exactly what it is. All right, let's go through each of these real quick. Length units. So in here, I have the option of starting with format, architectural, fractional units, decimal feet, decimal inches, millimeters, centimeters, meters. Um, so architectural format is what I do most of my work in, that's feet and inches, but I have the option of doing fractional inches, decimal feet, or decimal inches if I wanna stick with imperial. If I wanna hop over to, uh, to metric, I have the option of using millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Remember, changing this value doesn't mean you can't put other values in as you, as you go start modeling. You can always define your unit of measure for a specific move or an input, but this is how it's going to display information to you and how it's going to save it into the file. Uh, precision, this will change again based on millimeters or, or imperial, I'm sorry, metric or imperial, and it's just how fine of a number do you wanna see down there. Again, you can put in, I could put in 1 64th of an inch value in here, but when it shows dimensions, it's gonna to round to the nearest 16th. I have the option then of turning on length snapping, and if so, how close do I wanna to be to a point before I snap to it? Generally speaking, I like to stay away from length snapping because I would rather snap to a point than to some arbitrary snap point that I can't actually see. So I usually do most of my modeling with length snapping turned off. Below that is area units. Kind of like length units. Here, let's do this so we can scroll and get, get more of the screen used up. I gotta take advantage, take advantage of this whole screen, right? Um, area units, I have the option, this is pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, because I'm in architectural, I have feet. No, no changing, I can't change it. Precision is how many zeros I wanna see when it reports back a measurement. If I was to come in here and change this to millimeters, I have more options now. I can go square inches, feet, square millimeter, centimeter, meter, yard. I can actually change how I want that reported back to me. And then again, if I change to something like square meter, I can actually come in and choose how many decimal points I want after that square meter. So I know it seems kind of weird that's not all just connected together, but there's lots of use cases where I want to see things like lengths I want to see in foot inches, but then when I have solids reported back to me, uh, or, or area reported back to me, I want to see just square feet. I don't want to see inches, that sort of thing. So I have the option of setting that. Same with volume, volume units. Uh, in here, I can say cubic measurements. What do I want? Again, if I was working maybe, again, doing takeoffs or something like that, I want lineal feet of walls, but I want cubic yards of concrete. Uh, I could change that so that it reports uh, yards instead of the feet, inches, millimeters, centimeters, meters. Plus I have the option of showing liters or gallons. So if, again, being as general purpose as SketchUp is, if you have like uh, you're modeling a pool and you need to know how much water the pool holds, you could get that report with gallon and not have to do any math. And that is, that is not having to do math is a good thing. Let the computers do the math. Let's not do it ourselves. All right. Uh, and then finally, down here at the bottom, we have angle units. This one's kind of set apart from these uh, because I have the ability to say what, what precision do I want. I'm going to see angles in degrees no matter what I do. This is basically just saying how precise do I need to be when it shows an angle and then the ability to choose angle snapping. Angle snapping just says as you start to rotate, as you move your mouse, it's going to jump 
how many degrees each time. So it's set pretty fine right now, f five degrees right now. I would probably, as I was modeling, put that more like 15 degrees. If I wanna to go to a specific value in less than 15 degrees, I can still type that value in. It's not gonna say you can't do it, it's just as your mouse moves, what's the jump gonna be as you move around the, the compass as you're trying to rotate something. And that is it. That is everything there is to model info. Uh, you can access it. It's by default the bottom option on here and it controls everything that's going to be shown inside this. this. This information that you set for model info, as the name implies, is saved with the model. So if somebody else opens up this, these are the values that they'll see inside the model as well. I hope if you've ever struggled with any of those values down there, didn't know what they were for or something like that, that, that clears that up for you. It's a pretty simple setup there. I mean, it, it's kind of self-explanatory, but every once in a while, it can be tricky to go, okay, why why is why am I putting decimal places here if I have fractional or, you know, there's there's can sometimes be a little confusing. Hopefully that cleared all that up. If you like that video, do click the like down below. Uh, and if you don't already subscribe, please do. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you ever been tripped up by model info? Which piece of the iPad for SketchUp for iPad should we show next? We like making these videos. We'd like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.